And now to Nine Your Sight continuing coverage. More dream pods in downtown. More are on the way. And now Tucson is looking into ways to get them off the sidewalks. The organization in charge of all this, Safe Park, dropped off six more pods this afternoon, bringing the total to 36. Now your side's Ricky Mitchell joins us live at the newest pod location in front of the Tucson Convention Center. Ricky. Several people have actually moved into this new location of pods since their arrival this afternoon. They've also started adding messages of protest to the side. This one here is, seems to be against maybe the bus system here in Tucson. Now, the city and Safe Park have gone back and forth over this issue for the past two months. It appears, though, that a solution to make both sides happy is on the horizon. This dream pod has been Leanne Cook's home for the last two months. It definitely keeps us warm and dry. She says she and her husband lost their house and didn't want to go to a shelter because they'd have to split up. So they came here. There's a lot of danger out here on the streets for people. And at least in here, we've got security, we've got comfort. It's been very positive. John McLean is the director of Safe Park and says these pods are a protest against the decriminalization of homelessness. And because it's a protest, they're allowed to stay on the sidewalk under city code. I'm hoping that we're, we're just about at the point where the city can uh, find a, a, or designate a piece of land where if they want, don't want the dream pods and tents in this area, we would bring them there. Ward 6 Councilman Steve Kozachik says he is looking to do just that and has asked for a list of possible places near downtown. The business owners and the residents and the passersby, they deserve to see these things gone. So if the city does come to you and say, hey, we found this piece of land, you guys are welcome to move the pods there. I mean, will it be as easy as, okay, thank you, we'll, we'll move them over? Yeah, if it's within a, a mile and a half to a mile of where we're located right now, then it, it should be no-brainer. And Councilman Steve Kozacek says that he hopes to have a resolution to all of this fairly quickly, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. In the meantime, though, Tucson police are regularly patrolling this area. Reporting live from downtown, I'm Ricky Mitchell, KGUN 9 on your side. Ricky, thank you.